Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. Today, I just wanted to make a quick little tips video. I mentioned it in my initial spoiler-free impressions video I put out earlier today that I wanted to talk about how to optimize your experience for an OG Assassin's Creed fan and to give it that original feel of the old games. I've played around quite a bit with the different settings and choices that you can have in terms of your gameplay because I wanted to make it feel like old Assassin's Creed games, especially when it comes to the stealth. Now when it comes to basic combat difficulty, you can sort of set that to whatever you want because at the end of the day, our goal is to not get into combat and be in combat as little as possible. So set that to whatever you'd like, it doesn't really matter however you'd like your experience to be with challenging combat or easy combat. But when it comes to stealth, I'd advise you set it to the easiest setting. Now the reason for that is the normal setting is fine and it is definitely usable, but it doesn't give you any freedom whatsoever. Now what I mean by that is when you're in any major city, you need to be low profile. So you have no room to move quickly or run around or make any mistakes or really feel like you can sort of move around the city like you would in an AC2 in Florence or a Boston in Assassin's Creed 3 or a Havana in Black Flag. You have no room to move around and feel like you can have at least a little bit of freedom in those cities. If you want to have that feeling in these major cities, I definitely recommend you drop that self to easy just so if you maybe run a little past a guard or you walk too fast, they're not going to detect you instantly and completely ruin your experience and then you're fighting 15 guards in the middle of a square. At least you can sort of, oh shit, someone's just spotted me, move out of the way real quick, jump on a bench, blend in a crowd, and solve your own problems. It gives you the best chance to have a bit more of a freedom experience when you're in the cities. Yes, maybe it makes it a little easy when you're actually infiltrating, but I feel like it becomes a balance aspect of how you set your stealth is how you're going to balance the game overall. Not just when you're infiltrating a building and assassinating a target, but also when you're just running around a city. You want that to feel optimum to the old Assassin's Creed ways. Easy stealth is definitely the way to go. The other most important thing is instant assassination. That means that no matter what level a target is, if you're being stealthy and you stab them with your hidden blade, they die, like any previous Assassin's Creed game. And this is the case here with that option selected in Valhalla. That's a must. That is an absolute must to have that old OG experience. So when you're going to assassinate someone, or whether you're doing a ledge assassination or hay bale assassination, it's just so distracting to stab someone and take a quarter of their health off. It's just ridiculous. So setting that instant assassination gives you that perfect OG feel. And when when it balances with the stealth system being set to easy, you feel like when you're free roaming around and you're infiltrating an area, you feel like you're playing an old Assassin's Creed game. It really does feel that way. It's a bit different when you're free roaming in small villages or throughout the countryside or trying to get into a fortress because those are a bit more of the newer maps in Assassin's Creed, whereas the old games you're set in cities and you're just dealing with cityscapes. So when you're in cities in Valhalla, that's when it's going to give you this OG Assassin's Creed feel. Another little thing that I do that's kind of optional, but it just makes the game feel while I'm playing it like an old Assassin's Creed game, is change the control scheme a little bit. So I change Sprint from the left analog stick to the right trigger. Now that makes it feel like the old Assassin's Creed days when you're sprinting around the map, and also holding X to free roam or holding circle to drop down, that's how it really gives it that controller scheme feel of an old Assassin's Creed game. But then you have to also change a few other settings because things like the heavy attack or shooting your bow is the right trigger. So you then need to find a different way to set up your control scheme to have those as options. Now, that might make it a bit difficult with certain gameplay mechanics, so you might not want that. That's totally fine. Keep the sprint the way it is. But I thought just to give myself an optimum feel of an old game, let's set the sprint button to the right trigger. So guys, those are my major tips for how I think you can best optimize the control scheme and options the way you play Valhalla to make it feel like an OG Assassin's Creed title. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Will you be playing the game this way when you get Valhalla? And if you are a couple hours into Valhalla now, because it's probably just come out in a few countries by now, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. But of course, spoiler free, spoiler free thoughts only. I will be deleting comments with any spoilers whatsoever, and so will any of my mods. So please be kind to everyone. And again, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate all of you. Thank you, our Patreon producers, as always. And I will see you all in the next video covering Assassin's Creed Valhalla.